Ladies, 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 welcome to a very quick uh, episode of uh, NFL News. As the games are about to begin, I'm going to go over the uh, injury report, some actives and inactives for today's games. Uh, they're about to start. So we're going to start with J uh, J.K. Dobbins is officially active for the Baltimore Ravens, finally. He's back against the Patriots today. And uh, Kenyon Drake is inactive. So, there's some news about the running backs. Uh, Commander's quarterback, William Jackson, who was questionable coming into today's game, he is officially inactive, source said. Uh, source, Raiders running back, Josh Jacobs, he had an illness, but he will play today. They flew Josh Jacobs private yesterday. As he recovered from his illness, he worked up today and was deemed to go good. That's a huge lift for the... Uh, Las Vegas Raiders there against the Tennessee Titans today. QB, Chargers QB, Ch Chargers QB, Justin Herbert's decision on playing is about function of functionality. How close to his usual level can he get, and can he play to play the way he's accustomed to play? He took a pain-killing shot before Thursday's practice, and it helped some. And he's pushing to play. He would he would again today if necessary. So he could play today. We'll see. Panthers owner David Tapper plans to be patient with Coach Matt Rule. He's not a good NFL coach. And um, some news about Trey Lance his recovery. He'll be out four to six months after he broke his ankle and had surgery. And uh, and just the fact that go Jimmy Garoppolo is their QB goes all the way back to he had to have surgery in March and now he's their quarterback. Except uh, after Trey Lance broke his ankles out for that month for that while that uh the earliest hashtag cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott will be out out there is four weeks from surgery that ace hashtag eagles game on october 16th will be a solid spot so that'll be a big game for Dak Prescott to return against the philadelphia eagles hopefully the cowboys can beat the giants that come on monday uh tomorrow but the earliest he'll return is at philly on october 16th which, which would be a huge game Huge game. Uh, Packers left tackle David Bakhtiari is set to make his 2022 season debut at long last. He's been out for like 20 months or something. And he's finally back, which is big news for Aaron Rodgers. Got his uh, offensive lineman back. And some more injuries. Uh, what pa Patriots wide receiver jo uh, Jacoby Myers' knee is not expected to play. So we find some more news. With no setbacks and continued progress as he receives recovery, as he recovers from a meniscus tear and bone bruise in his knee. Hashtag Jets QB Zach Wilson is expected to be cleared by doctors next week, next week sources say. That puts him in line to play, to play against the Steelers in week four. So it looks like he's going to be back. And some injury updates for the Lions. Running back DeAndre Swift ankle, TJ Hawkinson tiny and hip. Center Frank Ragnall foot and DN Aiden Aiden Hutchinson thigh are all listed as questionable. We'll play we'll play today at Minnesota per sources. So it seems they're all listed as questionable, but they will all play today. Uh per sources. Expect a bigger role for Swift. Who had seven touches last week for eighty seven yards of T D. He had a really good points last week, so he should get some more touches. But but that's big for that they're all gonna play, because those are key players for our team. Bucks wide receivers Russell Gage hamstring and Brashad Perry Manet and running back Leonard Fournette hamstring are all listed as questionable and all expected to play today. So uh, Fournette and Gage had hamstring injuries and Perry Manet, but they're all expected to play. Source said there is less optimism for wide receiver Julio Jones Knee, who will test his injury in free game to see if he can go. So he might play. We'll see. I don't. We'll see. Saints QB Jameis Winston is questionable because of a back and ankle because of back and ankle injuries is expected to play sources say as is running back Alvin Kamara who missed last week but Q, but QB Taysom Hill rib is not slated to be out there so he's uh, inactive for today's game but James Winston is active I believe and Alvin Kamara All Pro linebacker Roquan Smith who missed practice this week with a hip injury unless it's questionable is expected to play today per source big news there for the Bears. Wide receiver Jerry Jody dealing with a sternum injury and cornerback Patrick Sartain dealing with a shoulder injury are both looking good to play, sources say. They'll work out pregame to be sure. So 
Did they play the 49ers tonight? Some good news there. Along with the expected return of J.K. Dobbins, hashtag Ravens are slated to have star cornerbacks Marlon Humphrey growing and Marcus Peters knee today versus the hashtag Patriots, sources say. Um, hashtag AZ Cardinals running back James Conner list is questionable with an ankle. We'll work out pregame, but there's optimism that he'll play today, source said. Um, so... Um, but we'll go over to this a little bit more after that fight in the Saints Bucks game. The NFL, they find running back Leonard Fournette and the hashtag Saints quarterback Marshawn Lattimore. $13,367 for each for NFC roughness in last week's uh, fight in New Orleans. Bucks QB Tom Brady was not fined for his role. So Tom Brady wasn't fined. Go figure. Uh. Ravens left tackle was downgraded to out. He'll not travel with the team as they play the Patriots, which they're playing now. The Bucks activated a newly signed wide receiver, Cole Beasley, from the practice squad, an indication he'll play Sunday versus the hashtag Packers. And one more, last thing I'll talk about is Micah Hyde. He'll be out for the whole, for the rest of the season due to a recent neck injury. The hope is for a full return from the, her, from the her, herniated disc in 2023. So it's a big loss there for the Bills secondary, Micah Hyde. Uh, one of the best safeties in the league, um, so that's a big loss for them, so. But yeah, just a quick episode, I want to talk about some of the injury, uh, reports for today's games, and just a little bit, a little bit more news, uh, yeah, but until next time, I'll fly. peace.